Afrikaans. Afrikaans is a West Germanic language spoken in South Africa, Namibia and, to a lesser extent, Botswana and Zimbabwe. It evolved from the Dutch vernacular of South Holland, Hollandic dialect, spoken by the mainly Dutch settlers of what is now South Africa, where it gradually began to develop distinguishing characteristics in the course of the 18th century. Hence, it is a daughter language of Dutch, and was previously referred to as Cape Dutch, a term also used to refer collectively to the early Cape settlers, or Kitchen Dutch, a derogatory term used to refer to Afrikaans in its earlier days. However, it is also variously described as a Creole or as a partially Creolized language. The term is ultimately derived from Dutch meaning African Dutch. Although Afrikaans has adopted words from other languages, including German and the Khoisan languages, an estimated 90 to 95 percent of the vocabulary of Afrikaans is of Dutch origin. Therefore, differences with Dutch often lie in the more analytic morphology and grammar of Afrikaans, and a spelling that expresses Afrikaans pronunciation rather than standard Dutch. There is a large degree of mutual intelligibility between the two languages, especially in written form. With about 7 million native speakers in South Africa, or 13.5% of the population, it is the third most spoken language in the country. It has the widest geographical and racial distribution of all the 11 official languages of South Africa, and is widely spoken and understood as a second or third language. It is the majority language of the western half of South Africa, the provinces of the Northern Cape and Western Cape, and the first language of 75.8% of colored South Africans. 4.8 million people, 60.8% of white South Africans, 2.7 million, 4.6% of Asian South Africans, 58,000 people, and 1.5% of black South Africans, 600,000 people. In addition, many native speakers of Bantu languages and English also speak Afrikaans as a second language. It is taught in schools, with about 10.3 million second language students. One reason for the expansion of Afrikaans is its development in the public realm. It is used in newspapers, radio programs, TV, and several translations of the Bible have been published since the first one was completed in 1933. In neighboring Namibia, Afrikaans is widely spoken as a second language and used as a lingua franca, while as a native language it is spoken in 10.4% of households, mainly concentrated in the capital Windhoek, Valfus Bay. Swakopmund and the southern regions of Hardap and Karas. It, along with German, was among the official languages of Namibia until the country became independent in 1990. 25% of the population of Windhoek spoke Afrikaans at home. Both Afrikaans and German are recognized regional languages in Namibia, although only English has official status within the government. Estimates of the total number of Afrikaans speakers range between 15 and 23 million. The term is ultimately derived from the Dutch term meaning African Dutch. The Afrikaans language arose in the Dutch Cape Colony, through a gradual divergence from European Dutch dialects, during the course of the 18th century. As early as the mid-18th century and as recently as the mid-20th century, Afrikaans was known in standard Dutch as a kitchen language, lacking the prestige accorded, for example, even by the educational system in Africa, to languages spoken outside Africa. Other early epithets setting apart. Cape Dutch, i.e. Afrikaans, as putatively beneath official Dutch standards included comma and, mutilated slash broken slash uncivilized Dutch, as well as, incorrect Dutch. An estimated 90 to 95 percent of the Afrikaans lexicon is ultimately of Dutch origin, and there are few lexical differences between the two languages. Afrikaans has a considerably more regular morphology, grammar, and spelling. There is a degree of mutual intelligibility between the two languages, particularly in written form. Afrikaans acquired some lexical and syntactical borrowings from other languages such as Malay, Khoisan languages, Portuguese, and of the Bantu languages, and Afrikaans has also been significantly influenced by South African English. Dutch speakers are confronted with fewer non-cognates when listening to Afrikaans than the other way round. Mutual intelligibility thus tends to be asymmetrical as it is easier for Dutch speakers to understand Afrikaans than for Afrikaans speakers to understand Dutch. In general, mutual intelligibility between Dutch and Afrikaans is better than between Dutch and Frisian or between Danish and Swedish. The South African poet-writer Brayton Bradenbach, attempting to visualize the language distance for Anglophones once remarked that the differences between Standard Dutch and Afrikaans are comparable to those between the received pronunciation and Southern American English. 
A relative majority of the first settlers whose descendants today are the Afrikaners were from the United Provinces, now Netherlands and Flanders, though up to one-sixth of the community was also of French Huguenot origin, and a seventh from Germany. African and Asian workers and slaves contributed to the development of Afrikaans. The slave population was made up of people from East Africa, West Africa, India, Madagascar, and the Dutch East Indies, modern Indonesia. A number were also indigenous Khoisan people, who were valued as interpreters, domestic servants, and laborers. Many free and enslaved women married, cohabited with, or were victims of sexual violence from the male Dutch settlers. M. F. Valkhoff argued that 75% of children born to female slaves in the Dutch Cape Colony between 1652 and 1672 had a Dutch father. Some consider this the origin of the ethnic group, the Cape Collards, who adopted various forms of speech utilizing a Dutch vocabulary. Sarah Gray Thomason and Terence Kaufman argue that Afrikaans' development as a separate language was heavily conditioned by non whites who learned Dutch imperfectly as a second language. Beginning in about 1815, Afrikaans started to replace Malay as the language of instruction in Muslim schools in South Africa, written with the Arabic alphabet see Arabic Afrikaans. Later, Afrikaans, now written with the Latin script, started to appear in newspapers and political and religious works in around 1850. In 1875, a group of Afrikaans speakers from the Cape formed the Society for Real Afrikaners, and published a number of books in Afrikaans including grammars, dictionaries, religious materials and histories. In 1925, Afrikaans was recognized by the South African government as a real language, rather than simply a slang version of Dutch proper. Afrikaans was considered a Dutch dialect in South Africa until the early 20th century, when it became recognized as a distinct language under South African law, alongside Standard Dutch, which it eventually replaced as an official language. Before the Boer Wars, 1880-81 and 1899-1902, and indeed for some time afterwards, Afrikaans was regarded as inappropriate for educated discourse. Rather, Afrikaans was described derogatorily as a kitchen language or as a bastard jargon, suitable for communication mainly between the Boers and their servants. Twenty-three years after the Second Boer War ended in 1902, mostly due to the efforts of the Afrikaans language movement on May 8, 1925, the official languages of the Union Act No. 8 of 1925 was passed at the joint sitting of the House of Assembly in the Senate, in which Dutch was declared to include Afrikaans. The Constitution of 1961 reversed the position of Afrikaans and Dutch, so that English and Afrikaans were the official languages and Afrikaans was deemed to include Dutch. The Constitution of 1983 removed any mention of Dutch altogether. The Afrikaans Language Monument is located on a hill overlooking Parle. Western Cape Province, South Africa. Officially opened on October 10, 1975, it commemorates the 50th anniversary of Afrikaans being declared an official language of South Africa in distinction to Dutch. It was erected in Parle on the 100th anniversary of the founding of the Society of Real Afrikaners, an organization which helped to strengthen Afrikaner identity and linguistic pride. The linguist Paul Robert suggested the earliest truly Afrikaans texts are doggerel verse from 1795 and a dialogue transcribed by a Dutch traveler in 1825. Printed material among the Afrikaners at first used only standard European Dutch. By the mid 19th century, more and more were appearing in Afrikaans, which was very much still regarded as a set of regional dialects. In 1861, L. H. Murant published his Conversation between Claus Truthsayer and John Doubter which is considered by some to be the first authoritative Afrikaans text. Abu Bakr Effendi also compiled his Arabic Afrikaans Islamic Instruction book between 1862 and 1869, although this was only published and printed in 1877. The first Afrikaans grammars and dictionaries were published in 1875 by the Society for Real Afrikaners, in Cape Town. The main Afrikaans dictionary is the W.A.T., Dictionary of the Afrikaans Language, which is as yet incomplete owing to the scale of the project, but the one-volume dictionary in household use is the HAT. The official orthography of Afrikaans is the compiled by. The Afrikaner religion had stemmed from the Protestant practices of the Reformed Church of Holland during the 17th century, later on being influenced in South Africa by British ministries during the 1800s. 
A landmark in the development of the language was the translation of the whole Bible into Afrikaans. While significant advances had been made in the textual criticism of the Bible, especially the Greek New Testament, the 1933 translation followed the Textus Receptus and was closely akin to the. Before this, most Cape Dutch Afrikaans speakers had to rely on the Dutch. This had its origins with the Synod of Dordrecht Tof 1618 and was thus in an archaic form of Dutch. This was hard for Dutch and Cape Dutch speakers to understand, and increasingly unintelligible for Afrikaans speakers. C. P. Hoochhout, and Stephanus Jacobus Dutwa were the first Afrikaans Bible translators. Important landmarks in the translation of the scriptures were in 1878 with C. P. Hoochhout's translation of the Gospel of Mark, lit. Gospel according to Mark. However, this translation was never published. The manuscript is to be found in the South African National Library, Cape Town. The first official translation of the entire Bible into Afrikaans was in 1933 by J. D. Dutoit, E. E. Van Ruin, J. D. Kestel, H. C. M. Forey, and B. B. Keat. This monumental work established Afrikaans as, that is a pure and proper language for religious purposes, especially amongst the deeply Calvinist Afrikaans religious community that previously had been skeptical of a Bible translation that varied from the Dutch version that they were used to. In 1983, a fresh translation marked the 50th anniversary of the 1933 version and provided a much-needed revision. The final editing of this edition was done by E. P. Grunewald, A. H. Van Sale, P. Averhoff, J. L. Helberg and W. Kempen. This translation was influenced by Eugene Nida's theory of dynamic equivalence which focused on finding the nearest equivalent in the receptor language to the idea that the Greek Hebrew or Aramaic wanted to convey. The challenge to this type of translation is that it doesn't take into account that there are shifts in meaning in the receptor language. A new translation, Die Bible, under Recta Vertaling is currently under preparation. It will be the first truly ecumenical translation of the Bible in Afrikaans. Translators from various churches, including the Roman Catholic and Anglican churches, are involved. Various commercial translations of the Bible in Afrikaans have also appeared since the 1990s, such as Die Bootskap and the New Valu in Vertaling. Most of these translations were published by Christ like Hewitt Gewer Smots Capi, C.U.M. Afrikaans belongs to its own West Germanic subgroup, the Low Franconian languages. Its closest relative is the mutually intelligible mother language, Dutch. Other West Germanic languages related to Afrikaans are German, English, the Frisian languages, and the unstandardized languages Low German and Yiddish. Some state that instead of Afrikaners, which refers to an ethnic group, the terms or, lit. Afrikaans speakers, should be used for people of any ethnic origin who speak Afrikaans. Linguistic identity has not yet established which terms shall prevail, and all three are used in common parlance. The white Afrikaans speaking community started being referred to colloquially as the Bora. The terms, farm boy, and, Farm girl, became popular among young white Afrikaners for expressing national pride, regardless of whether or not they actually grew up on a farm. Afrikaans is also widely spoken in Namibia. Before independence, Afrikaans had equal status with German as an official language. Since independence in 1990, Afrikaans has had constitutional recognition as a national, but not official, language. There is a much smaller number of Afrikaans speakers among Zimbabwe's white minority, as most have left the country since 1980. Afrikaans was also a medium of instruction for schools in both Uthotswana, and apartheid Arab and Tustan. Many South Africans living and working in Belgium, the Netherlands, the United Kingdom, Republic of Ireland, Australia, New Zealand, Canada, the United States, the UAE and Kuwait are also Afrikaans speaking. They have access to Afrikaans websites, news sites such as Network24.com and Sake24, and radio broadcasts over the web, such as those from Radio Zondegrenz, Boke Radio, and Radio Pretoria. Afrikaans has been influential in the development of South African English. Many Afrikaans loanwords have found their way into South African English, such as, pickup truck, barbecue, tangerine, American sneakers, British trainers, Canadian runners. A few words in standard English are derived from Afrikaans, such as aardvark, lit. Earth pig, trek, pioneering journey, in Afrikaans lit. Pull but used also for migrate, spore, animal track. Southern African grassland in Afrikaans, lit. Field, 
commando from Afrikaans meaning small fighting unit, tree snake, and segregation, more accurately apartness or the state or condition of being apart. In 1976, secondary school pupils in Soweto began a rebellion in response to the government's decision that Afrikaans be used as the language of instruction for half the subjects taught in non-white schools, with English continuing for the other half. Although English is the mother tongue of only 8.2% of the population, it is the language most widely understood, and the second language of a majority of South Africans. Afrikaans is more widely spoken than English in the northern and western Cape provinces, several hundred kilometers from Soweto. The black community's opposition to Afrikaans and preference for continuing English instruction was underlined when the government rescinded the policy one month after the uprising. 96% of black schools chose English, over Afrikaans or native languages, as the language of instruction. Also, due to Afrikaans being viewed as the language of the white oppressor by some, pressure has been increased to remove Afrikaans as a teaching language in South African universities, resulting in bloody student protests in 2015. Under South Africa's Constitution of 1996, Afrikaans remains an official language, and has equal status to English and nine other languages. The new policy means that the use of Afrikaans is now often reduced in favor of English, or to accommodate the other official languages. In 1996, for example, the South African Broadcasting Corporation reduced the amount of television airtime in Afrikaans, while South African Airways Drop had its Afrikaans name from its livery. Similarly, South Africa's diplomatic missions overseas now only display the name of the country in English and their host country's language, and not in Afrikaans. In spite of these moves, the language has remained strong, and Afrikaans newspapers and magazines continue to have large circulation figures. Indeed, the Afrikaans language general interest family magazine has the largest readership of any magazine in the country. In addition, a pay TV channel in Afrikaans called KikeNet was launched in 1999 and an Afrikaans music channel, MK, Lit.Music Music Channel, in 2005. A large number of Afrikaans books are still published every year, mainly by the publishers Human and Rousseau, and the Afrikaans film trilogy, first released in 2008, caused the reawakening of the Afrikaans film industry, which has been dead since the mid to late 1990s and Belgian-born singer Karen's Oid's debut single, released 2001 caused a resurgence in the Afrikaans music industry as well as gave rise to the Afrikaans rock genre. Afrikaans has two monuments erected in its honor. The first was erected in, South Africa, in 1893, and the second, nowadays better known Afrikaans language monument, was built in Parl, South Africa, in 1975. When the British design magazine Wallpaper described Afrikaans as one of the world's ugliest languages in its September 2005 article about the monument, South African billionaire Johan Rupert, chairman of the Richemont Group, responded by withdrawing advertising for brands such as Cartier, Van Cleef, and Arpels, Montblanc and Alfred Dunhill from the magazine. The author of the article, Bronwyn Davis, was an English-speaking South African. Modern Dutch and Afrikaans share over 90% of their vocabulary. Afrikaans speakers are able to learn Dutch within a comparatively short time. Native Dutch speakers pick up written Afrikaans even more quickly, due to its simplified grammar, whereas understanding spoken Afrikaans might need more effort. Afrikaans speakers can learn Dutch pronunciation with little training. This has enabled Dutch and Belgian companies to outsource their call center operations to South Africa. Post-apartheid South Africa has seen a loss of preferential treatment by the government for Afrikaans, in terms of education, social events, media, TV and radio, and general status throughout the country, given that it now shares its place as official language with ten other languages. Nevertheless, Afrikaans remains more prevalent in the media, radio, newspapers and television, than any of the other official languages, except English. More than 300 book titles in Afrikaans are published annually. South African census figures suggest a growing number of speakers in all nine provinces, a total of 6.85 million in 2011 compared to 5.98 million a decade earlier. The South African Institute of Race Relations, SIR, project that a growing majority will be colored Afrikaans speakers. Afrikaans speakers experience higher employment rates than other South African language groups, though half a million remain unemployed. Despite the challenges of demotion and emigration that it faces in South Africa, the Afrikaans vernacular remains competitive, being popular in DSTV pay channels and several internet sites, 
while generating high newspaper and music CD sales. A resurgence in Afrikaans popular music since the late 1990s has invigorated language, especially among a younger generation of South Africans. A recent trend is the increased availability of preschool educational CDs and DVD apostrophes. Such media also prove popular with the extensive Afrikaans speaking expatriate communities who seek to retain language proficiency in a household context. After years of slumber, Afrikaans language cinema is showing signs of new vigor. The 2007 film comma the first full-length Afrikaans movie since Bulyas in 1998, is seen as the dawn of a new era in Afrikaans cinema. Several short films have been created in more feature-length movies, such as And, both in 2008, have been produced, besides the 2011 Afrikaans language film comma which was the first Afrikaans film to screen at the Cannes Film Festival. The film was also released in 2011. The Afrikaans film industry started gaining international recognition via the likes of big Afrikaans Hollywood film stars, like Charlize Theron, Monster, and Charles Tokopli, District 9, promoting their mother tongue. Afrikaans seems to be returning to the SABC. SABC 3 announced early in 2009 that it would increase Afrikaans programming due to the growing Afrikaans language market and, there, Need for working capital as Afrikaans advertising is the only advertising that sells in the current South African television market. In April 2009, SAPC 3 started screening several Afrikaans language programs. Further latent support for the language derives from its depoliticized image in the eyes of younger generation South Africans, who less and less often view it as the language of the oppressor. Indeed, there is a groundswell movement within Afrikaans to be inclusive and to promote itself along with the other indigenous official languages. In Namibia, the percentage of Afrikaans speakers declined from 11.4% 2001 census to 10.4% 2011 census. The major concentrations are in Hardap, 41.0%, Karas, 36.1%, Erongo, 20.5%, Comas, 18.5%, Omaheke, 10.0%, Echosan Jupa. 9.4%, Kun, 4.2%, and Oshikoto, 2.3%. Afrikaans is offered at many universities outside of South Africa including in the Netherlands, Belgium, Germany, Poland, Russia, and America. Following early dialectal studies of Afrikaans, it was theorized that three main historical dialects probably existed after the Great Trek in the 1830s. These dialects are the Northern Cape, Western Cape, and Eastern Cape dialects. Northern Cape dialect may have resulted from contact between Dutch settlers and the Khoikhoi people between the Great Karoo and the Kuhn, and Eastern Cape dialect between the Dutch and the Kosa. Remnants of these dialects still remain in present-day Afrikaans, although the standardizing effect of standard Afrikaans has contributed to a great leveling off differences in modern times. There is also a prison cant, known as Or, which is based on Afrikaans, yet heavily influenced by Zulu. This language is used as a secret language in prison and is taught to initiates. The term, Cape Afrikaans, is sometimes erroneously used to refer to the entire Western Cape dialect, it is more commonly used for a particular sociolect spoken in the Cape Peninsula of South Africa. Was once spoken by all population groups. However, it became increasingly restricted to the Cape colored ethnic group in Cape Town and environs. Caps Afrikaans is still understood by the large majority of native Afrikaans speakers in South Africa. An example of characteristic the term, Afrikaans of the Orange River, is sometimes erroneously used to refer to the Northern Cape dialect, it is more commonly used for the regional peculiarities of standard Afrikaans spoken in the Uppington slash Orange River wine district of South Africa. Some of the characteristics of are the plural form, ma, comma variant pronunciation such as in, church, and, money, and the ending, which indicates possession. Although Afrikaans is mainly spoken in South Africa and Namibia, smaller Afrikaans-speaking populations live in Argentina, Australia, Botswana, Brazil, Canada, Lesotho, Malawi, the Netherlands, New Zealand, Swaziland, the UAE, the United Kingdom, Republic of Ireland, the US, Zambia, and Zimbabwe. Most Afrikaans-speaking people living outside Africa are emigrants and their descendants. Because of emigration and migrant labor, more than 100,000 Afrikaans speakers may live in the United Kingdom. Due to the early settlement of a Cape Malay community in Cape Town, who are now known as coloreds, numerous classical Malay words were brought into Afrikaans. 
Some of these words entered Dutch via people arriving from what is now known as Indonesia as part of their colonial heritage. Malay words in Afrikaans include some words originally came from Portuguese, such as umbrella, from the Portuguese comma, pen slash cattle enclosure, from the Portuguese comma, and corn. From dot these words have become common in South Africa to an extent of being used in many other South African languages. Some of these words also exist in Dutch, like parasol, though usage is less common and meanings can slightly differ. Some of these words also exist in Dutch, though with a more specific meaning, for example means South African tribal javelin and means South African tribal blanket of animal hides. Loan words from Bantu languages and Afrikaans include the names of indigenous birds, such as Nkama and indigenous plants, such as Ndot. The revoking of the Edict of Nantes on the 22nd of October 1685 was a milestone in the history of South Africa, for it marked the beginning of the great Huguenot exodus from France. It is estimated that between 250,000 and 300,000 Protestants left France between 1685 and 1700. Out of these, according to Louvois, 100,000 had received military training. A measure of the caliber of these immigrants and of their acceptance by host countries, in particular South Africa, is given by H. V. Morton in his book, In Search of South Africa, London, 1948. The Huguenots were responsible for a great linguistic contribution to Afrikaans, particularly in terms of military terminology as many of them fought on the battlefields during the wars of the Great Trek. In Afrikaans grammar, there is no distinction between the infinitive and present forms of verbs, with the exception of the verbs to be and to have apostrophe colon in addition, verbs do not conjugate differently depending on the subject. For example, only a handful of Afrikaans verbs have a preterite, namely the auxiliary, to be, the modal verbs, and the verb, to think. The preterative, may, is rare in contemporary Afrikaans. All other verbs use the perfect tense, he plus past participle, for the past. Therefore, there is no distinction in Afrikaans between I drank and I have drunk. Also in colloquial German, the past tense is often replaced with a perfect, note that must is quasi-defective in modern English. It is technically the preterite of moat, as in so mote it be, but has functionally replaced it except in ritual and poetic contexts. So it is not a fully defective verb, like can, shall or will, because the present tense form of the verb to moat still exists but nobody uses it anymore just as thou still exists but everybody uses the plural you instead. When telling a longer story, Afrikaans speakers usually avoid the perfect and simply use the present tense, or historical present tense instead, as is possible, but less common, in English as well. A particular feature of Afrikaans is its use of the double negative. It is classified in Afrikaans as it is something that is absent from the other West Germanic standard languages. For example, both French and San origins have been suggested for double negation in Afrikaans. While double negation is still found in low Franconian dialects in West Flanders and in some isolated villages in the center of the Netherlands, such as Garderen, it takes a different form, which is not found in Afrikaans. The following is an example. There was the Middle Dutch way to negate but it has been suggested that since became highly non-voiced, or was needed to complement the dot with time that disappeared in most Dutch dialects. The double negative construction has been fully grammaticalized in standard Afrikaans and its proper use follows a set of fairly complex rules as the examples below show. A notable exception to this is the use of the negating grammar form that coincides with negating the English present participle. In this case there is only a single negation. Certain words in Afrikaans arise due to grammar. For example, comma which literally means must not, usually becomes semicolon although one does not have to write it or say it like this. Virtually all Afrikaans speakers will change the two words to in the same way as do not shifts to don't in English. The Dutch word, it in English, does not correspond to in Afrikaans. The Dutch words corresponding to Afrikaans are comma comma and. There are many parallels to the Dutch orthography conventions and those used for Afrikaans. There are 26 letters. In Afrikaans, many consonants are dropped from the earlier Dutch spelling. For example, only. In Dutch becomes in Afrikaans. Also, Afrikaans and some Dutch dialects make no distinction between and, having merged the latter into the former, while the word for south is written in Dutch, it is spelled in Afrikaans, as well as dialectal Dutch writings, to represent this merger. Similarly, the Dutch digraph comma normally pronounced as, is written as comma except where it replaces the Dutch suffix which is pronounced as or, as in greater than. 
Another difference is the indefinite article, in Afrikaans and in Dutch. A book is in Afrikaans, whereas it is either or in Dutch. This is usually pronounced as just a weak vowel. The diminutive suffix in Afrikaans is comma whereas in Dutch it is comma hence a bit is in Afrikaans and in Dutch. The letters C, Q, X, and Z occur almost exclusively in borrowings from French, English, Greek, and Latin. This is usually because words that had C and CH in the original Dutch are spelled with K and G, respectively, in Afrikaans. Similarly original Chu and X are spelled KW and KS, respectively. For example, instead of equatorial, and instead of excus. The vowels with diacritics in non-loan word Afrikaans are, E, 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 E diaresis, E, I circumflex, I diaresis, O, O, U acute, U circumflex, Y acute. Diacritics are ignored when alphabetizing, though they are still important, even when typing the diacritic forms may be difficult. For example, instead of the three E's alongside each other, which can never occur in Afrikaans, or comma which translates to say, whereas is a possessive form. A few short words in Afrikaans take initial apostrophes. In modern Afrikaans, these words are always written in lowercase, except if the entire line is uppercase, and if they occur at the beginning of a sentence, the next word is capitalized. Three examples of such apostrophed words are dot the last, the indefinite article, is the only apostrophed word that is common in modern written Afrikaans since the other examples are shortened versions of other words, and, respectively, and are rarely found outside of a poetic context. Here are a few examples the apostrophe and the following letter are regarded as two separate characters, and are never written using a single glyph, although a single character variant of the indefinite article appears in Unicode. For more on the pronunciation of the letters below, see. Although there are many different dialects and accents, the transcription would be fairly standard. In the Dutch language the word means African, in the general sense. Consequently, Afrikaans is commonly denoted as dot this ambiguity also exists in Afrikaans itself and is either resolved in the context of its usage, or by using for an African person, and in the adjective sense. A handful of Afrikaans words are exactly the same as in English. The following Afrikaans sentences, for example, are exactly the same in the two languages, in terms of both their meaning and spelling. Only their pronunciation differs. Psalm 23 1983 translation. Poem style equals margin left, 1m, font style, italic, lang equals af greater than die here is my herder, at com nix court ni dot high lot my ingrown y de rus. Hi bring my by waters bar dar freda is dot high g my nuba crog. Hi lay my op direct pa e tot air van sign om dot self sal gon ector don ker diaps, salak ni bang wees ni, want you is by my. In you hunt a zek veilig. Less than slash poem. Psalm 23 alternative translation. Poem style equals margin left, 1m, font style, italic, lang equals af greater than die here is my herder, nix sal my on freak knee dot high lot my nearland grown wivalda, no waters bar russes, lay high my heen dot high verk wick my seal, high lay my in die spore van jerig tig height, om si nam on twile dot algon ek hook and andal van dudes kajui. X algin on Hylvri's knee, want you as met my, you stoke and you staff divertrus my. Less than slash poem, Lord's Prayer, Afrikaans New Living Translation. Poem style equals margin left, 1m, font style, italic, lang equals af greater than ons vader and die hemel, lot you nam chilig word dot lot you conning shears capi spotig com dot lot you willy a apart a you and givower word susan die hemel dot gons die poor si brood what ons fear van dagnotic het dot and verge funds on sun descald susan zuacon scaldinars verge way het dot buar on soda dons neon ver lighting sal tg ni, and beverions van die greep van dad bows dot want van you as die conning crick, and die crog, and die hearly kite, tot in you a kite. Amen less than slash poem. Lord's Prayer, original translation. Poem style equals margin left, 1m, font style, italic, lang equals af greater than on civator what in die hemel is, lot you nam chilig word, lot you conincric com, lot you will just get up die arde, net susan die hemel dot g ons van dag ons doglick sprud, and vergi funds on skull the susans on skull denars between lot ons ni and diverso eking ni marvelos ons van die bos wad on you behurit die conincric and die craig and die hearly kid dot and you ekite. Amen less than slash poem. Thanks for watching. 
Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.